The SU-8 Cold Light Source UV Laser Machine's gross weight is 38.6 kilograms, and the package's length is 38 centimeters. Width is 47 centimeters. Height is 68 centimeters. We need to use professional tool to open the package. Now we have taken off the upper lid and then remove the side of package. If the package is placed on the ground, you can lift the machine up directly. Look inside the top foam. There is a power cable, a keyboard, and a mouse. The black cardboards are used for positioning and calibration. We use the up and bottom cover foam box to pack the machine all around. And the machine is also wrapped with plastic bag before packing in the foam box. It can prevent the machine from getting wet during long-term sea transportation or other situation. The machine has been take out from the package. Let me show you the machine's details on different sides. Here are the heat emission holes. So when the machine is placed on the table, leave some space for it. Let the air circulate to cool the machine. On the back of the machine, there are some parameters of the machine. Include the input voltage. Here is the power switch. And here is the fuse. This is a hand slot for convenient handling. Here are also heat emission holes. When open the door, the foam inside will be pulled out. And this is a positioning fixture for curved screen. Now let's plug in power. Before plugging in power, you must confirm the working voltage on your local. It only works normally with the right input voltage. Otherwise, it is easy to burn out the components of the machine. First, plug in the power cable, mouse, and the keyboard. The computer button is used to turn on the computer. The laser button is used to turn on the laser and check whether it works normally. The down button is used to lower the lifting platform. The up button is used to raise the lifting platform. The auto button is used to auto focus. And we have a button here. It can turn on the light inside the laser room. It should be noted that the machine's computer and the laser are controlled by independent buttons. So each time we power the machine, we need to manually turn on the computer and the laser. Similarly, when we finish using this machine, we must also turn off them. After we finish using the machine, we need to turn off the computer and the laser. Why should we turn off the laser? Because the laser has a limited working life its energy attenuation slightly over time. The laser power will go down. Of course, it isn't easy for us to reach its limit in daily use. If it's used in the maintenance shop, obvious attenuation may occur after five years. Therefore, it is best to turn on the laser when in use and turn it off when not in use, so as to better maintain the machine and extend its service life. After unboxing and powering the machine on, don't rush to use it directly. We must carefully watch videos about all buttons and their functions before operation. As well as the warnings on the machine should be carefully read. You should understand how to operate this laser machine in a standardized manner. When using the laser machine for screen marking, make sure it is an original screen. Since the OCA of the non-original screen cannot be confirmed, the screen polarizer is easily damaged. 
Therefore, it is very important to distinguish whether it is an original screen. How to judge whether the laser has finished preheating or not. Whether the light has been emitted. We can put the hand directly under the laser lens. And a red dot and a white dot clearly appeared. The white dot means that our UV laser is working normally. And UV light can be emitted normally. When will this white dot appear? Usually, turn on the laser for about 2 minutes. The white dot will appear. Because our machine is a UV laser machine. It will not work if it only emits infrared light until it emits UV light. UV light is for marking. Infrared light only shows the marking range or trace of the UV laser. This machine can support voltage setting. The power module we use is designed with a wide voltage range. You can adjust it yourself, since the working voltage varies in different countries. The users can adjust the machine's working voltage. Where should we adjust it? On the top of the machine. We can use a screwdriver to untighten its screws. Now all the screws are removed. Make sure to turn off the power before opening the cover of the laser machine. The power supply must be completely cut off. The safest way is to unplug the power cord. So that we can open it more safely. Here is the galvanometer. Here is the optical path. Here are some control cards driver cards. Please don't move these parts of the machine. Here is the voltage toggle switch 115 volts slash 230 volts. Turned this voltage toggle switch with a blade. We can see that. I have turned this voltage toggle switch to 115 volts. It can now support the voltage of 110 volts countries. When turn this voltage toggle switch to 230 volts. It can support the voltage of 220 volts countries. After adjusting the voltage. According to your needs. Just put the sheet metal cover on. Don't move other parts of the machine. After tightening the screws, we power on and test the machine. Okay, the machine works normally. Complete adjustment.